Welcome to the series where we perform hands-on exercises with OpenAI and Python. This is part one of a two-part series on fine-tuning a GPT model. In this video, we perform the first two steps in the fine-tuning process according to OpenAI. As you can see here, these are the steps that OpenAI suggests. We have to prepare the data, upload the data, create and start the fine-tuning job, and once the fine-tuned model is created, you should use it and test it. Here, in this video, we will follow these steps. We will prepare custom data in a question and answer format. Then we will save our data for use in a JSON-L file format. And in step number three, we will convert that data into open AI format according to the API docs. Once that's done, the fourth step, we will divide the data set into two parts. The first would be the training data file, and the second would be the evaluation data file. Then in step five, we will upload both files for processing to OpenAI servers using the API. With that, let's get started. Okay, let's start with installing the libraries, in this case, only OpenAI. All right, so OpenAI has been installed. Now let's go set up the API key. Just simply set up the environment variable, OpenAI API key, and just replace this string with your own and hit this button, you're done. And before we jump into it, so let's show that we're just creating a point here with OpenAI. And I have a display helper function here. In some cases, I'm going to be using my print instead of the default print function to output messages just to keep it within this width. That said, these are the four steps we're going to follow. Step one, preparing the fine-tuned data. Step two, upload the data to OpenAI. Step three, create and start the fine-tuning job. And step four, we take that newly fine-tuned model and test it. In this video, we're going to cover step one and step two. So let's start step one. Okay, so we start our data prepping process by importing JSON and declaring an empty list called data. And in here, we load up our data source, which is customer service.json-l. This is the file format, and I brought it in here. And just to show you the content quickly, this is what the JSON-l file content looks like. I have used ChatGPT to build me a question answer formatted data altogether about 121 of them and this is in a json l format and the l stands for line and that's because every line in this file is considered a single json object unlike a dot json file where the entire file has to be considered and this is the best format for data processing data sciences and machine learning and the story i gave the chat gpt was i'm building a customer service bot for a uh, rock music band and the band is trying to promote their latest album and that's what this all these question and answers are all about that said let's go back all right so now that uh, we brought in our json l data source file let's see what the contents looks like with this display we run that and this is what a, our question and answer looks like and here we are reformatting the data according to OpenAI's guidance. This is what the data structure should look like when we are ready to send it for the fine tuning. Here, we are just uh, creating a list comprehension and we're looping through all the data and X would be each line of data. And within this structure, by using X question and X answer, we're pretty much taking this question text and the answer text and uh, and assigning them as this user content value and assistance content value. And with that, let's go take a look at what our new formatted data looks like by enabling this and disabling that. Let me run this. All right, so look at that. Whole structure has the message list and within that there's a role system content and then role user content and the answer content the assistant role right here so that's what our new data structure looks like we're taking that formatted list 
that we've created and take the first 100 pieces of data and setting it up as a training data within this DS train variable. And the rest of the data are, let's say, 20 or 21 pieces of data. And we just collect it and assign to this variable as the DS eval, basically the evaluation data. Once that is done, we create two different files, one as train.json-l and the other one is eval.json-l and we just write those data in there and create two different files. Once this is run successfully, we should be able to see these files created. So let me run this. All right, now let's look here and boom, the eval.json-l, train.json-l. So at this point, we have our data files prepped and ready to go and ready for uploading. All right, we are ready to upload our data. So here we're creating the client object using OpenAI and I'm declaring a variable, my training data and using this client, client.files.create. And this is the API method to upload our necessary data. In this case, as an argument, I'm loading up our training.json-l file with RB, which is read binary. And the content goes straight to this file object. And then the other argument would be purpose. And our purpose is fine tune. So with that, let's just run this. Oops, sorry, I made a mistake because our file name is train.json-l, not training. So let me change that. And now let me run. Oh, there you go. That's the file object uploaded successfully. And in here, let's get the ID out of it. And that's our file ID for our training data that we just uploaded. Now let's move to the next step. Here we will upload our JSON-L file. I mean, let me verify the name, eval JSON-L. Okay, so that we don't make the same mistake again. The same process, just changing the file name here. And let me run it. Okay, object created. And let's take the file ID out. And there you go. That's our eval file ID. The reason I'm specifically showing you this because these are the IDs that we're going to be using to launch our fine tuning process in the next video. With that, I conclude our first part of the fine tuning GPT model process where we prepared our custom data, saved the data into a JSON L file format converted the data into OpenAI format, made a training and evaluation data separate, and uploaded both training and eval data to OpenAI for fine-tuning.